Hello everyone and welcome to our new video. For those of you who are new here, let me introduce you to our channel. Here at Gameplay, we mostly deal with all things tech. Computers, laptops, phones, smart devices, individual PC components, you name it, we got it. We also do tech repair. We repair everything across the board, from computers to microwaves. And we started this YouTube channel to show you guys the work we do and to share with you our experience and thoughts on tech-related subjects. If you're interested to see what we got in store for you, hit that subscribe button to turn on and turn on notifications to make sure you never miss out on a single review, repair, assembly, or a gameplay video. So we are starting off our first review on this channel with the Rig 500 Pro eSports headset from Plantronics, who are no stranger to making gaming and streaming headsets. If you never heard of them, Plantronics is an American-based electronics company that produces audio communication, communication equipment for businesses and consumers alike, specializing in mobile use, gaming, and music. And today on our hands, we have their headphones intended for gaming use, as you might assume by the eSports tag. As you can see by the box, the headset is compatible with PC, PS4, and Xbox, as expected from a headset that only sports a 3.5mm jack. One of the neat features of the Rig series headphones is the modularity of the same, which we will address as soon as we get into the box. Uh, as you can see, we already unboxed these uh, headsets, and the once you get into the outer protective uh, layer of the box, you are greeted with this uh, nifty case, uh, which is there to <clears throat> secure the headset during transportation, which shows you that these, these are a bit more serious uh, headphones. Once you open the protective case, uh, you're greeted with this nifty gift from Plantronics, which we will discuss later on, so I'll just put this aside. Now, let's get these headsets out. Uh, oops. <clears throat> now, if you're familiar with uh, earlier Rig series headphones and uh, Plantronics headphones in general, uh, does it, the design might be similar, familiar to you. Familiar to you. Uh, the neat thing about this uh, Rig series headphones, uh, the earlier one and uh, this one as well, is the design of the same because uh, these headphones are designed to for eSports and they are supposed to be durable, uh, modular and uh, flexible because uh, you're just uh, uh, supposed to put them in the box and uh, take them out uh, whenever you need them. And they are supposed to be firm, durable, and uh, easy to use, which they definitely are. So as uh, earlier Rig Series headphones, uh, these ones uh, as well sport these, this uh, steel uh, arch, which is very flexible. And beneath it uh, is this leather support that's supposed to rest on your head, so to support the, the weight of the headphones. They just clamp onto your uh, head when you want to use them, and they're fairly comfortable uh, for the price that you're paying. They are extremely well uh, designed and uh, with extreme good audio quality. The neat thing with... Uh, these headsets is that they come with uh, two pairs of ear cushions. The first pair that usually comes uh, mounted on these uh, headphones is the combined leather and uh, fabric ear cushion. And the other one is uh, made of this breathable fab fabric completely, which is great for those uh, longer summer, summer gaming sessions or for extended periods of use during summer to avoid the uh, sweat buildup in your ear and the, all the other inconvenience that you might that you might experience using full leather ear cushions. Of course, they are not uh, that good at noise cancellation as full leather ear cushions, but they are fairly comfortable. Uh, another one uh, interesting thing about the, the, the design of the 
rig series headphones is uh, the way you this driver cover pops out uh, in uh, many other headphones you would just slide the driver to adjust the the size that you need accordingly but with these headphones you would just pop them out adjust the size and put them back in which gives that firm feeling uh, while having them on uh, they're not that's not very adjustable and maybe flexible as the sliding pattern but this one is definitely more firm and feels good uh, <coughs> the next thing in the box is this adapter which oops the next thing in the box is this adapter which comes with uh, all of rig 500 pro series headphones uh you if you intend to use this these this headset on a pc rig you would definitely need this one because the pc cable that comes standard with these headphones uh has two 3.5 millimeter jacks on both sides which are intended to plug into your headphones just like that and the other part goes into your pc uh, with a volume control uh, with a slider to, to, to adjust the volume uh, accordingly. The neat, thing, the neat thing about this is that <clears throat> once, uh, once you forgot that you got your headphones on and you try to get up, you won't pull your entire PC with you. They would just unplug once pulled, which is pretty neat. And the... <clears throat> These were great with uh, systems that uh, that support one 3.5 millimeter jack for both uh, mic and audio. But as I said, if you want to use your microphone on your PC, you might need to use this adapter to, to split the audio and the mic. Now, <clears throat> speaking of the mic, uh, the rig, rig series has not disappointed this time either. With no noise cancellation, uh, this mic is uh, fairly, uh, fairly, fairly decent. With noise cancellation, this mic is fairly decent, uh, which shows why the Rig 500 series is used with by casual streamers as well. The mic just pops in into your headphones right here, and the neat function about uh, the this uh, mic jack is that let's say you're in a discord call or in a discord room with your friends and you get a phone call the neat function of the these headsets is that you would just push the mic up and it's muted there is a clicking sound right there and if you push the mic up the mic is muted and once you're finished with your call, you can just pull it back down and get on with your business. <laughs> now, <clears throat> another one of, uh, let's call them innovations uh, with these headsets is this other cable, which is intended for console gamers. As you can see on this side that plugs in into your controller, uh, this cable has a dial. Uh, they also uh, showed it on the box, uh, game audio dial. Now this is uh, a rig patented dial. Uh, so you'll be seeing this cable on all of uh, newer Plantronics devices from Rig 500 Pro up. A rig, rig 800 also sports one of these. So the neat thing about this is that uh, you would plug this part into your controller and uh, just with a move of your thumb while playing a game you can adjust the in-game volume which is pretty awesome because one moment you might be having a uh, because one moment you might be blasting through enemy lines and the next one you might be uh, greeted uh, with a cutscene so you might want to adjust the in-game volume and this is pretty awesome because uh, no need to go to the settings or search for your remote control or anything you would just uh, slide them per your preference uh, 
increase the volume, decrease the volume with just a flick of a, flick of a finger. <laughs> now the paper that we put aside at the beginning of the video is... Uh, it's basically a code for, uh, for additional software. These headsets are a stereo head... This is a stereo headset. So with... But they support Dolby Atmos. Uh, with the mentioned software, uh, you can get sort of a, that 3D kind of audio sound. Not truly 3D, but... Uh, it's somewhere there. I mean, for the money you're paying, uh, it's more than excellent. And the software is available uh, available at the Microsoft Store. Uh, it's usually around 25 bucks or something like that. But uh, if you purchase the Rig 500 Pro Series, you would get a activation code with it, with which uh, you would download the software from your from the Microsoft Store, which is pretty neat. <laughs> 